Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for August 3rd. The scripture states, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Proverbs 28 and verse 13. The conditions of obtaining mercy of God are simple and just and reasonable. The Lord does not require us to do some grievous thing in order that we may have the forgiveness of sin. We need not make long and worrisome pilgrimages or perform painful penances to commend our souls to the God of heaven or to expiate our transgression. But she that confesses and forsaketh her sin shall have mercy. This is a precious promise given to fallen man to encourage him to trust in the God of love and to seek for eternal life in his kingdom. Daniel did not seek to excuse himself or his people before God, but in humility and contrite, and sorry, and contrition of soul, he confessed the full extent and the merit of their transgressions and vindicated God's dealings as just toward a nation that had set at naught his requirements and would not profit by his entreaties. There is great need today of just such sincere, heartfelt repentance and confession. Those who have not humbled their souls before God in acknowledging their guilt have not yet fulfilled the first condition of acceptance. If we have not experienced that repentance which is not to be repented of, and have not confessed our sin with true humiliation of soul and brokenness of spirit, abhorring our iniquity, we have never sought truly for the forgiveness of sin. And if we have never sought, we have never found the peace of God. The only reason why we may not have remission of sins of, that are past is that we are not willing to humble our proud hearts and comply with the conditions of the word of truth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your continued love towards us. We thank you for access to your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your love and your patience We thank you for health. We thank you for life, for breathing, for being able to see, touch, taste. We thank you for giving us food to eat, shelter, clothing, shoes on our feet. There's so many blessings all around us. We thank you for our children, for our spouses, for our friends, our coworkers, for our loved ones. We thank you for buildings that we could go to and worship. We thank you for the vehicles that we have that we can transfer, transport back and forth, back and forth. Lord, there's so much to be thankful and grateful for. And you have asked us to come to you when we have sinned and when we have done things that have been unlike you. You're asking us and encouraging us to understand that we have broken your heart, that we have done something not pleasing in your sight. And when we understand that and we feel that that guilt, it's easy for that guilt to go away. We don't have to live with it. You're saying to us that when we come to you in sincerity, in honesty, in truth, knowing that what we did was wrong and that we're sorry for breaking your heart, that you will forgive us because you are a God of love. Father, help us to humble ourselves, to be willing to be humbled, actually. Help us to surrender self. Help us to allow self to die, because self, oh, Father, it leads us in so many wrong directions. When you have set out a clear path for us, help us to come to you. Help us to be honest. Please forgive us. Please help us to come to you, to ask for forgiveness and know that when the request is sincere, that you have indeed 
been merciful and that you have given us your peace and your forgiveness. So help us to not keep going over in our minds these things. Help us to be willing to be changed. Help us, dear Lord, to look at the situations that we are involved in and help us to see our role in these situations. Father, thank you so much for these devotionals. I know some people may think that they're a bit harsh, but I pray that we will all see the love that you have for us, the love that you have that you want us to be ready and prepared for Jesus' soon return. Help us to be willing to be changed and transformed so that we can indeed see you face to face. Thank you for your love. Cleanse our hearts and minds, please. Forgive us once again of our sins and our shortcomings. Continue to bless your people, dear Lord. Bless your creation. Help us to see your love and experience your love. Thank you so much for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.